Adobe has been paying attention to exactly what the user is interested in right now and has given us a new option in the crop tool. If you go over to the crop tool now, you will see that you now have the generative expand. So just like the previous video where I show you how to expand a photo, you now have it built in to the crop tool. And the cool thing about this is that you can go up to fill and you can always switch back to the default view or switch to the content aware fill. And they've also included two little features as well. The first one is the ratio. If you want to be very specific with your measurements and let's say that you wanted a 16 by nine widescreen photo, you can left click on here and through here, all you need to do is just expand the crop and add it onto the photo. This will of course keep the aspect ratio to a 16 by nine photo. All you need to do now is simply click on generate And as you can see by the results, it's done an amazing job on filling in those missing areas. You can tell that the background is nice and blurry, it perfectly matches. And also another amazing thing which I am grateful for is that Adobe have fixed those lines that used to appear before. They are completely gone, you don't have to worry about them anymore and you can even have three different variations completely up to you. You can either go with this one or you can go with the third option which is this one right here. Now, another feature that they've added is the straighten photo button right here. And let's say, for example, your photo had a rotation of six degrees and you wanted to straighten this photo. All you need to do is go to the crop tool, click on the straighten button, and all you need to do is draw yourself a six degrees line onto here. And as you can see, this will now straighten the photo and you can click on done. And there we go. Our photo is now perfectly straight. And then finally, the very last option is you can save this as a crop preset. So let's say that you had a specific ratio in mind that you've just created. You can click on new crop preset, give this any name that you want, and this will save it as a preset. So then next time you open this up, it will be in here. If you like this video, you may also like this next video up on the screen showing you all the 10 prompts that you need to try in Photoshop. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.